Hey up chat, still working on figuring out a gun intro, but that's not the point of today's video. I even have a semi-script for this one, so you're in for a mediocre time. Looking forward to this. Now, before I start rambling, I need to get in a small amount of context. Just enough, if you will. Recently, I had my birthday. It was a, a few 20 days ago now. It was great, uh, just, you know, so everyone knows. I also am... When I say really, I actually really fucking love axolotls. Because they're goofy as hell, right? Anyhow. Uh, a few days ago... Uh, well, a few days, a few days, it was like two days ago. Uh, my uh, fucking extended... My family on my dad's side, my aunts and cousins and the like, decided to celebrate my birthday. Uh, come out with my sister's birthday, because that's today and everything. Not important. Uh, now, normally... You're not gonna get good gifts from your family. I mean, they don't know what you want. They'll give you, like, socks. They'll give you socks. And that's what you get. But this time, they actually cooked with the gifts, man. Like, you don't even know. Uh, first of all, I got Cards Against Humanity. I'm, I'm sure everyone here knows about Cards Against Humanity. But if not, it's a card game. Uh, you get a black card. And then you and you get, five, you get five, five white cards. That has a word or a sentence on it. Someone else picks a black card. Uh, that has a question or like a fill in the blank scenario. You have to pick a white card that sounds the funniest. Had a fucking great time playing it. It was uh, it was funny as hell. Anyhow, uh, but what I also got was a fucking hand stitched Axonol plushie. And holy shit, man, it's so cute as hell. It, it's really cute as well. Like, uh, it was great. But there's a slight problem when it comes to receiving gifts with me. I, for some reason. I'm completely unable to make my voice sound, uh, I don't know, gratuitous, I suppose. Like, I cannot sound happy with something uh, when I get a gift or, or the like. So I had to put up a whole spiel where, like, fucking a lot of people touched and everything. And, oh, my God, man. It, it actually felt so bad. And I, uh, like, that that was a real deal break. But, but I got a nice little plushie out of it. So, you know, who's real? Uh, but after that, we had a, we played a few rounds of Cards Against Humanity. I kept my thingy, and I uh, brought it up. And... Yep, yep, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Chat. Are any of you like this? Or are you people, or are you people, like, normal? Also, what the hell is this guy doing? Like, I don't know if you were the same button as me. But like, bro, why are you shifting? That doesn't help. Also, how is he running? Like, was he just glitched out? Like, was that just what it was? Did, did he just glitch? Uh, fucking weirdo ass people, for real. Anyhow, anyhow, it was pretty. Other than that, though, party was pretty chill. Like, uh, we had some rhubarb pie. I don't know if you've had rhubarb pie, but it's it's good. It's good. We uh we have some homegrown rhubarb and everything, so it's great. Uh, and after that, we basically just vibed, you know, played some cards against humanity. Then I went up to my room and did some recording. Played, God, I didn't actually, not for this video, but for a video after this. Don't worry about it. It's not important. It's not important. It'll come eventually. It'll come one day. Uh, and now my next thing that I decided to talk about in this script that I wrote for, uh, <laughs> in like five minutes during my Swedish lesson at school, because yeah, uh, I don't know how many people will relate, will relate to this, because I know a lot of people are from uh, more countries than I am. Uh, I, for one, am from Sweden. I don't know if you would guess that from my accent. I've been working on making it less noticeable, but you know, it's still kind of Swedish. It's still kind of Swedish, uh, but... And currently, it is 21 degrees Celsius outside, and for you gun lovers in the crowd, uh, that's around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and... Holy shit, man. It was so warm. Like, I didn't sleep at all last night. It was just too warm. I could not fall asleep. Like, oh yeah, right. We don't... Generally, it uh, doesn't get warm enough to uh, for us to need this. So we usually just don't have ACs, like air conditioners. Because we don't really need them. You know, it never gets this warm. Probably. But... Uh, the world decided that it was... That were for the kids going to fuck with me, I guess. Uh... So yeah, I was fully awake the entire night, uh, and that's my excuse. I think it's fair, you know. But but the issue is now I am so fucking tired. See, I almost said fucking tired there. Wait, shit, fuck. Ugh. 
Anyhow, while I can sense that some people in chat now started preaching about their caffeine, I personally have been able to never drink things like that, since if you do too much, you become dependent on it to even stay awake. Which now, of course, I've never drink, I've never drunk coffee. Well, I did like once, and I became uh, that one meme with Shen where he's tired faster. I don't know if you've seen it, but fucking, that's literally me when I drink when I drink coffee. And it's also mid. It's not even that good. Oh, it's a techno mid skin. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> And now there was this one, uh, one clip that I watched where like, oh, oh, it's a Technoblade skin, so you know it's gonna be sad. And then I'm fighting the actual Technoblade. Sadly, I, sadly, I can't have that anymore. He, uh, he hasn't... <laughs> no, no, uh, Rift Technoblade, honestly, I mean... He was the entire reason I was keeping up with the Minecraft community at all, really. Like, I, I still, I was actually an avid viewer of the Dreamers and Bean until he died, and then he died, and I stopped keeping up because... The only reason I was watching the thing was because of Technoblade, and like, the, the fucking syndicate. The syndicate was so entertaining. Oh, it's so sad that it's all gone now. I was so great to watch it. Oh, you're right. Uh, so, on the point of me not being able to show gratitude that well because my emotions are kind of restricted, it's the same with grief. Like, I I have not, in what most people would consider properly grieved. Uh, of a technoblade that I don't think I physically can. I've shed tears. Don't get me wrong. And I get the whole argument that they don't know who you are. Uh, like a streamer doesn't know who you are, they don't care about you. Which, yes, yes, that is true. But I don't think they need to. Because, I mean, they really. He really helped me out in tough times. Just being there. So I don't. I don't feel that he needs to know me. Uh. And now I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, and oh yeah, right, Jedi. Oh yeah, and there's Jedi Master getting fucking destroyed. Uh, because Minecraft players nowadays are actually worse than they used to be. Maybe I'm better. Maybe they're worse. Oh yeah, right. I actually I don't know if this is right now in the video. I don't think so. Uh, but I got a full ass like a <laughs> nine win win streak. Uh, which my top used to be a six win streak. So a 9 win streak is actually pretty damn good, which, not, it's still a pretty mid win streak, but like, I meet some people, okay? I meet some people who deal a lot of damage, and I die, because I'm not as good as some of the pro players, well, I mean, eventually I'll probably be, I am a menace when it comes to that, and I get hyper fixated, I become the best, that's how I got all my rankings in all the games that I played, like, I, I, I was on top, I was a top player in Deep Pokemon for like a month before they reset the rankings, because they're just like that, then I go wiped, and I, uh, it didn't do anything. Archmage has got to release that up. Shit, man. Like, bro, what is he doing? I don't care about your win talents. I just want my silent heart. I just want to play the game. Because I, I set a goal for myself to just not play the game unless they release the goddamn silent heart update. Uh, which I think it's reasonable, honestly. I I think that's fair. Because I only play I, I I sometimes play something else. Like, uh, as of recently, I cooked up a little build where, uh, <laughs> that's just, uh, using the new, uh, multiplication spark on the, on the spark swap, combined with storm Sigh, combined with a lightning pull, I think, whatever, lightning stream, uh, with a reverse spark, so I pull myself to them, and then I gave myself just record, and the entire build is just teleporting around everyone, they will never catch me alive. Man, that's the build that I've been planning to make so far. I mean, I haven't played too much, I've played because some of my, uh, slash friends were playing, Anyway, I had a pretty good time, but like, you know, still, I can't play seriously yet. They just haven't released the update. And on the topic of updates, you guys know Conquest. Uh, it's a deep Pokemon update. They, uh, they, <laughs> they said they were going to reset around Christmas. Which, that's a pretty good release date, you know? Because they released the uh, verse 2 on Christmas. Uh, good times, by the way. I, uh, I was, of course, I was OG. They were, I mean, not too OG, but I joined around Vision Shaper time. Like, when they added Vision Shaper, that's when I got the game. Then I didn't play for a little bit. I joined a group and we played The Void Paragon. Oh, that was, it, The Void Paragon was so fun. I know none of you know about The Void Paragon because it was a really, really specific thing. But it was so fun back in The Void Paragon days. And then, uh, when they released Verse 2, we all stopped playing. And I didn't play for like a year, well not years, but like months. And then I uh, gave my brother the Deep Woken as a birthday present. And that's when I started playing again. Which was honestly really fun. I did not, like that was like some good time. 
uh, three deep poking, just vibing. Uh, of course, now uh, I'm doing different things, but good times. I'll eventually have to get back to that, but that's for in the future when they release the Silent Front update and possibly Conquest. I don't really mind Conquest. They literally just added, like, bro, they just added League of Legends to Deep Pocket. And if you could have more low life than we already are, you can't make a Deep Pocket player more no life. We're already done. We're literally done so already. We don't need to get more no life by adding League of Legends to the thing. But, you know, you have to take the good with the bad. The good being the Silent Heart rework, the bad being League of Legends. Like, I'm not hyped for Conquest in the slightest. Like, they're, they're past the, the release date by a bunch. So I lost the hype for that. Uh, and it just doesn't even seem that fun because it just isn't deep or kinesthetic. Now, what I want is uh, difficulty up. Because verse 1 was so difficult. Like, you had to team up. And... Now, I get that this is like a, a really bad complaint really with there's no more mystery in the world which there is i've just explored all of it because yeah but oh if they could add some new islands or something like i get the central luminant with the conquest but i don't have the energy to do a bunch of league of legends i just want to explore an island fight some new bosses and get some cool weapons like i that's all i want is that too much to ask for chat is that is that just not allowed anymore like is that too much to ask for i just want some drip I just want some cool crits and shit. I wanna make I wanna have some drippy crits and also for the Silent Heart rework. Uh there's a bunch of different ideas that I have for it, obviously. Obviously, I mean I am a silent heart main. Uh but I saw this one video that got really criticized for no reason, honestly. Uh where the silent heart thing was they could like switch between two different weapons in combat. Also this guy uh, I, I think I fought this guy for the first match uh, here, if I do remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure, and he still gets his ass wrecked. Which is so funny, because whenever I see someone with like a glass thing that they walk on, like a glass trail and uh, a trail on their projectiles, I instantly get worse at the game, because I get nervous. Also, don't mind, don't mind my aim being ass in this one fight, I don't know why it went so bad. It, like, it, I literally got cooking great aim most games, except for this one. Uh, I did record these clips during the same day, uh, like the last one, but I did die a whole lot. Also, this was the 24th. This was like three days ago. That's fun. I haven't played for three days. I didn't even notice. Time passes so quickly. Like, I've been growing older, you know, OP, and time just has to stop passing this quickly. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Time just has to stop passing, man. I uh, I think I think stopping time would be chill. Although, if you had to ask me for my superpower, it would probably be shape shifting. Anyway, we reached the end of the video. This is your classic outro. I did a bunch of funny editing effects that I did because they just felt like it. Uh, and uh, yup, I mostly forgot what I had planned for the uh, outro. But you know, I'm good at talking. Uh, fucking subscribe to my channel. Uh, Please, I beg you. Pretty, pretty, please. Thank you. Uh, well, the stream has got to be shutting off.